Married at First Sight, this past Wednesday's episode was really good. Paige, you really redeemed yourself. I'm going to have to give you a round of applause. Like, you used reverse psychology on Chris. Okay, so we're going to talk more about that later on in the episode, but I just had to mention it because, Paige, like, you, you redeemed yourself. You really redeemed yourself. Okay, so before we get started, welcome to Sisters Talk TV. Let me first introduce myself. My name is Sin. I am one half of Sisters Talk TV. Please be sure to first like this video, okay? And then subscribe to our channel. And also check us out on Instagram. Your support really helps us out to you know especially reaching our goals so just continue to like and subscribe so let's go ahead and get on to married at first sight so for two weeks i actually have not reviewed the show just because there was a lot of things going on um especially with married at first sight and then last week we got the whole um Chris and Paige situation it was just too much I was just like and plus I was also disappointed in Paige um these like last week and the week before I was just like oh my gosh Paige Paige I was rooting for you I was rooting for you I know a lot of people gave up on you Paige but you know what I was rooting for you and this week's episode really really you know I was like okay this is why I'm rooting for Paige Paige you know I you had it in you you can you you had it in you so you redeemed yourself, Paige, but let's go ahead and get on to the review. Okay, so the episode starts off with Eric and Brian. You know, they're walking their dogs and, you know, they meet up and Eric is telling Ryan that, you know, Virginia, she's out of town. She went for a wedding for four days. And Eric is just like, you know, he's kind of having a little bit kind of reservation about Virginia, especially with her drinking, also her male friend. So Eric is just not really sure um, some of Virginia's behavior and also some of her, you know, um, like her drinking habits. So he has a little bit of reservation on that. Okay, so Ryan, I still feel like Ryan is super, um, so reserved when it comes to Clara. After watching Wednesday's episode, I really don't think Ryan is into Clara because they're just he's not shown her any affection affection um and also he like Clara has mentioned some stuff that you know as newlyweds Ryan is Ryan is not doing for her you know so there are just like there's still some reservation and i truly think that ryan is just really not into clara i feel like ryan is super confused um as far as what he wants in a in a spouse i think that ryan has a really hard time with commitment like he said he's never said that um i love you to someone especially someone that he is truly committed to so i think ryan just he has he, I think he's just a little bit um, confused as far as like what he wants. I also um, wrote down that Eric complains a lot. Like everything Eric is complaining about. Yes, we know that Virginia likes to drink. But Eric likes to use his age to pretty much, it's like he wants to control Virginia. He wants to be Virginia's father in a way, which is kind of weird because it's like Virginia has a dad. Like he is really, he seems super controlling. And I feel like that's probably why Virginia went to Savannah for a wedding for four days, just to kind of get away from Eric. Eric complains a lot. And he also nags a lot, especially with the scene with, um, with Ryan. I'm just like, like every scene Eric is complaining about Virginia. I'm like, Eric, have you told Virginia how you felt? I'm pretty sure Eric probably has told Virginia how he felt, but I mean, decision day is coming up. You can make a decision if you want to stay with Virginia or you want to get a divorce. So that's definitely something to think about. 
Okay, so also, okay, so I mentioned that Air um, Ryan does not seem invested in Virginia. I mean, sorry, Ryan does not seem inv invested in Clara as Clara seems invested in him. Yes, I still feel that Ryan is really confused. Um, even when it was like when their friends came over, Ryan, he's just, I don't know, like he just does not want to open up. I'm not sure. Like, I'm just, I think that we're not getting enough of Ryan. We don't, actually, we don't even know who Ryan is. Ryan is so, like, he is so, um, he has like a regimen like he he does not like to try new things like claire is so um giddy she's so um positive and so outgoing and ryan is just ryan is positive but he's just not as outgoing as clara and he just like he has a regimen a regimen in everything he does so that's definitely something that sparks a red flag and I don't see Clara and Ryan working out initially I did especially um during the wedding episodes but I really don't see them working out okay so we also get Chris talks to his pastor and I think that Chris likes people to always agree with him. He likes yes ma'ams and yes people around him. And I really like this conversation that he had with his pastor. His pastor pretty much held Chris accountable. And Chris hates when people are holding him accountable. He cannot take the heat. You know, people, no one is agreeing with him. And he just likes to walk out and leave the conversation. It's just like, Chris, you need to actually listen to what people are telling you and actually learn something. And Chris has a really hard time with that. And I'm I'm also questioning Chris, okay, in the beginning of this, this season, Chris says he's a pastor. I'm kind of question, I'm just like, who is Chris pastoring? Like with a personality like that, and the like his thought part like who is he who is he giving advice to when he's not even receptive of receiving advice from other people and he's also really rude and just really nasty especially when it comes to Paige and also what he did to Virginia and Clara like who is Chris actually pastoring Chris really needs to go to counseling not just spiritual counseling, but he also really, yes, he needs to talk to God, but he also needs to go see a therapist because Chris has a lot of unresolved issue within himself. He, and I'm going to get into more of that, um, especially with the conversation with Chris and Paige and his ex. I really saw um, a different, like, I saw, okay, this this conversation between Chris, Paige, and his ex gave me just kind of clarity on what I initially thought about Chris. And it, it pretty much confirmed it. But we'll we'll get to, we'll talk about that later on. Okay, so the pastor um, is pretty much really commending Paige that Paige is a diamond. She is, she, you know, she has a good heart. She has a pure heart. And Paige does. Like, she really came into this, like, you know, just kind of with good intention. And sadly, she was partnered up with someone like Chris who just, I don't even know why Chris is even on Married to Medicine. Married, married to Medicine. I don't know why Chris is even on this show because it's like, what are you even doing? Like, is he doing it for the money? Like, I'm not sure. Like I said, this is my first season. This is my first time watching the show. And I don't know if they get paid. I'm not sure. Or is Chris doing this for 15 minutes of fame? Because it's just not looking good for him. And it, it really is just not looking good. And he's trying, it's like every chance he gets, he's trying to paint Paige as a bad person. And he's just not holding himself accountable. But the pastor really, really had some really um, just good, good things to say about Paige. And he just talked to, gave Chris, you know, tried to give Chris a word of wisdom. Like, bro, like this is like, this is really not looking good for you. And Chris just walks out. Like, he's just like, I don't even want to um, hear this. And he just walks out. And that's another thing. Chris, he just, he just, 
he doesn't want to listen to anybody. Not his mom, not his parents, not Paige, his wife, nobody. Nobody, Chris, Chris does not see fault in anything he does. Yeah. Okay, so we also get... Um, okay, and I also have to say that another thing that the pastor said that... Um, I wasn't too fond of was he's trying to I I don't like them pushing Chris on Paige and he already said he doesn't really like he doesn't like her I just feel that let them just go their separate ways like obviously they're not compatible with each other like they're not and I don't think that they should be forced to try to make it work because there's just no compatibility all right Okay, so then we get Haley and Jacob. Um, so I n noted that I really don't like the way Haley is treating Jacob. Like, Jacob is so nice. Like, I just don't like what Haley is doing. Jacob is like one of the sweetest men on the show. And Haley's just not right. Well, how she's treating Jacob. Like, I'm like, Haley, do you want someone like a Chris? Or an Eric who likes to complain, or Ryan who does not even show any affection when it comes to Clara. Like, out of all of the men, you have the diamond in the rough. Like, you have someone who's really, really kind, really sweet. And pay. And um, the reason why you're saying you don't like Jacob is because he's stuck in the '80s. Okay. Yes, Jacob is, he is kind of quirky, but someone liking a, a specific decade is not, it's not like a red flag. Like, that's something that if you want him to be more hip, you can work with him on that. Like, it's not something you just be like, okay, yeah, I don't, you know. I feel like you're really, I feel like, um... Not Claire. What is her, what is her name? Haley is really looking down on Jacob, and it's like I like I don't know like why Haley is doing that because Jacob, like I said, Jacob is really really nice, and he is the only guy on this series that is seems like he's committed and wants to be in a marriage, and also Haley lied to her um friend when she was talking to her friend about Jacob how you know how Jacob said that Haley did it like they had a girls night all the husbands were there and she was the only person that wasn't there Haley pretty much lied and she lied she lied again on um, when she was talking to her friend she was saying that Jacob is, was really really upset with her because they had a guys a girls night in the it's so like I was saying um yeah Haley the way she's doing Jacob is just not right I think that they, if they could repair who should be, like they can rematch people. I honestly feel they need to put the hopeless romantics like Paige and Jacob together because the people who are they they are paired with, they're just they are not doing right by their side. And I think they can, they could just repair Paige and Jacob. That would, you know these are people they they really want to be married they really want to find love and it's sad that who the people who there are their spouse or their wives or husband is they're just not here to really find love and it's so sad poor jacob Haley, Haley, you have to do right by jacob you have to do right by jacob jacob is so sweet okay so all right, so I think this is what everyone is waiting for. Um, Chris Page and Chris's ex slash ex fiance slash baby mom or baby mother, they all meet up. So, you know, they come in and Paige is like, you guys look really nice, trying to be really sweet and diplomatic. And initially, I think that Chris, this is what he wanted. He wanted everyone to see, like, okay, you guys see, like, who I use, like, the kind of um, a woman that I usually date. So I think he just wanted Paige to kind of, like, you know, see, like, this is 
this is like who he I don't know I just feel like he just kind of wanted Paige to be like jealous or so or just to like um you know kind of hurt Paige's feelings and Paige was so nice and she just wasn't even sweating and I was like okay that's the point for Paige Okay, so they're talking and, you know, Paige is just like, you know, she doesn't even, she's confused and she doesn't even know why Chris is even like, you know, having this conversation. And I'm confused too. Like, I don't understand like why Chris is holding this conversation and the person who's holding the conversation, he's really quiet and it's just the two ladies that are talking. So the two ladies are talking and they're like, um, recanting everything that has happened and you know, Paige told her, like, you know, everything that Chris has told him. And she's like, you know, she's scared that she also may be pregnant as well. And the ex was just like, wait, what? Like, you know, you're pregnant as well, too. You think that you may be pregnant as well, too? And Paige is like, you know, yeah. Like, at first she thought. So I think this whole kind of, and the ex pretty much, I think she started to realize that Chris was just playing a game. And he probably told her a lot of lies that maybe Paige said or what Paige did and the ex is just like she starts turning on Chris because I think initially they were there to pretty much like I think they were they probably pretty much wanted to I, I feel like they were there to probably like gang up on Paige or probably attack Paige or argue with Paige but the ex like she was so diplomatic and she was very um you know it was just like a woman to woman conversation no hostility very mature her and Paige had a really mature conversation and Chris did not like that he was fuming he hated that they these two ladies were getting along he probably felt they were going to fight for him or like argue over him just to kind of you know boost up his little ego and stuff and he really really hated that you guys can if you I don't even want to post a clip, but just go ahead and watch Married at First Sight and you will see what I'm talking about. Like he hated it. And once they started to catch up on his lies, he wanted to end the conversation. And he was just like, you can, he was telling Paige, anything you want to say, you can direct it to me because you're talking about me. It's just like, well, now you want to start talking. Okay, Chris, you're getting a little, he's starting to get really agitated. He wants to leave. He wants to get food. He starts changing the subject. And it's just like, you see, you see, Chris, you were trying to hurt Paige. You wanted to hurt Paige, but look what happened. See, when you play dirty, it never wins. Being manipulative and stuff, it never wins. You see what happened? You see? And I'm just like, you know what? Good job, Paige. Like, you came in there being very mature. And, you know, you washed your hands out of that situation. Hopefully. Hopefully, Paige, you have washed your hands out of that situation. And that is all we are rooting for, Paige. We want you to just wash your hands and just be done. Hopefully, you don't answer any Chris's questions, anything he has to say just leave Chris alone and I feel like Chris sees that Paige does not want she's like so over him I think at this point Paige is pretty disgusted by him and she's just not even attracted to him and she's just done and he's starting to I don't even think he's like feeling bad it's just like he's starting to see like Paige is, yeah she's like over him and I think he's probably gonna try to contact her but like I was saying pretty much um Chris it seems like he just wanted these ladies just to come in, fight, argue, and yeah, and it just backfired on him because Paige does not care. Chris is probably going to try to contact Paige because he probably needs someone to film with. So he's going to try to stretch this whole storyline as, as much as possible. Um, and Paige just seems like she's over it. They're probably going to... I hope that they match Paige up with someone else if it's not too late. I can't wait to see when Paige, you know, says divorce, like, to Chris. Especially when it comes to decision, decision day. And I don't know, I'm just really excited to see, like, what Paige is going to do after this. And I think that Chris tries to make Paige seem like a bad person and everything is like all Paige's fault but it's really backfiring on Chris because no one like no one is a fan of Chris like everyone thinks he's just like 
you know, he just every he just rubs people the wrong way. He rubs um, the fan the fans of Married at First Sight the wrong ways. He runs the matchmakers the wrong ways. Um, expert um, Pastor Cal he probably rubbed him the wrong way. He rubs like reviewers like myself and other um, reviewers of Married at First Sight the wrong way. And he also rubs his castmates the wrong way. Jacob, um, Virginia. Eric, Clara, even Paige. He rubs, like, Chris um, is just like, no one is, do it's not Paige's fault. Stop trying to blame Paige for everything. It's not Paige's fault. Chris, it's time to take accountability for what you have done and leave Paige out of this whole, like, just out of it. Um, yeah, so I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to, let's see what happens. Um, I also feel that Paige is probably kind of the star of the show at the end of the season. Paige is probably going to be the breakout star. I think that after Married at First Sight, Paige is going to have a lot of opportunities that's going to come in her way because I hope that Paige learns a lesson and becomes, still remains um, just a sweet person that she is because I really do feel like Paige is really really sweet um she has a she talks she has a very like calm low voice she doesn't really um raise her voice so too much but I know that Paige has it in her so I really think that she has she's gonna have a lot of opportunities coming her way after the season is over and I think that she is going to be the breakout star of the season Chris probably wanted to be the breakout star of the season but Unfortunately, once again, Paige, I mean, not unfortunately, once again, like he probably wanted to be the breakout star, but Paige is actually the breakout star of Mary at First Sight. So that is enough of my analysis with Chris and Paige. I just want to go ahead and say just a few things about Vincent and Brianna. So I really like seeing Vincent's um, mom, his brother, um, have dinner with Brianna's mom and sister. I think that they're really getting along. I, I really like that Brianna's really trying to acclimate herself with um, Vincent's culture. Um, she, they, she made like tacos and the mom said it was really good. Of course, the uh, brother was translating for Vincent's mom because I think Vincent's mom's English is pretty limited. So, but it was really good to see like Bianca, um, sorry, Brianna's actually trying to learn Spanish. And it's a good thing, you know, it's a really, really good thing to see. And they're getting along really well. They had a little fallback um, last week and a little bit of the week before. But, you know, they're bouncing back. And once again, Vincent and Brianna, they are still my favorite couple. I see them going far, uh, especially when it comes to decision day. So let's see. Um, let's see if they're, you know, if they still remain my favorite couple. But that is about the end of this video. Please, if you have not liked or subscribed, this is your time to like and subscribe. Also, check it out. Um, check out. Check us out on Instagram as well. And okay, so sorry. Before I end, one one more thing to say. Um, I don't think that Chris's girlfriend is pregnant. Um, because it was really hard for her to even like you know give Paige a accurate um like length of like what well, how long she is in, within her pregnancy so i don't think she's pregnant i feel that and if she is congratulations um but i think that this is just like for a storyline probably what the producers have been have been cooking up or this is probably she just probably just want to get on the show but i i don't think that she is pregnant but th that is going to be the end of this review thank you guys so much once again like subscribe and Check us out on Instagram. Thank you guys so much. Peace, love, and blessings.